Hi, it's Luis with the Ground Up, and today I'm going to show you what a cubic yard product looks like. Uh, we're going to do a few takes, and I'm going to show you what a cubic yard in bags and in bulk will look like. Uh, here we have, I have drawn, as you can tell, my beautiful art, a cube. And a cube, as the word says, cubic yard, is going to be three feet by three feet by three feet. And if you make a cube, that's going to be a cubic yard. So, uh, essentially, if we put product in this cube and these sides are solid and nothing can spew out, then we're going to be able to fit one cubic yard of product in here. If we translate cubic yard to bags, uh, most mulches are going to be bagged in a two cubic foot bag, which means that 14 bags will make one cubic yard. And most soils and compost are going to be packaged in a one cubic foot bag, which is going to mean that 27 bags will make one cubic yard. Now, there might be a difference between these two numbers. In reality, this is 13.7 uh, bags, but you, do, you can buy 13.7 bags. You can buy only 14 bags or 13 bags. So we're just making these calculations based on those whole numbers. Uh, so let's go ahead and go outside and uh, show you what a cubic yard looks like in bags and in bulk. Okay, we're here in the warehouse and now I have, as you can look down right here, we have a layer of five bags and these bags are one cubic foot each. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make enough layers to stack up 27 bags, which will make one cubic yard. So bear with me and you'll see what a cubic yard looks like in bags of one cubic foot measurement. Ah. Okay, so now we have 27 bags at one cubic foot per bag. And as you can see the layers, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. That my friends is one cubic yard in one cubic foot bags. As you can see the footprint, because it's spread out, you're not gonna have a perfect cube. But if we were to measure this, you're gonna see that this measurement right here, it's about four feet gonna make a four foot cube. If we were to make a three foot cube, this would come up about three feet and it would come up up to here on a perfect cube. So now you see what it looks like spread out and not fluffed up. We're gonna go to the bulk material and show you what a cubic yard of bulk material looks like. Okay, so the following test we're gonna make is we're gonna take one cubic yard of mulch at water level on that bucket and we're going to drop it right in front of that pile. We're going to take a measurement with the state measure. And you're going to see how much fluffier a cubic yard of mulch is uh, compared to a cubic yard of sand, which we'll take the next uh, image off. But this right here is one cubic yard of product. So we go ahead and take a measure. Come with me. To how high this pile is. It's about 18 inches high once done. But this, my friends, is what a cubic yard of mulch looks like. Slightly more, since that bucket is not quite one cubic yard. It's 1.2 cubic yards. But this is what a one cubic yard product looks like. Okay, the following test is gonna be, we're gonna measure a cubic yard of sand. That is called bank sand. And as you can tell, the product is a lot denser and doesn't have air pockets like mulch does, since that is fluffy and it has uh, a lot of pockets in between the pieces of wood and the pines. This is called bank sand and it's kind of gonna have no voids whatsoever. So a lot denser material, a lot heavier, and when we dump it, it's gonna create compaction on top of the product. And so what you see here versus what you see on the mulch pile is gonna be very similar, but as the product settles on its way to the destination of the job site, you're gonna see visually that the product looks like it's less amount of product than what we loaded up in mulch. But as you can see here, and we can walk around the pile, this is one cubic yard of product. And when we drop this off at your home or at a job site, depending on how many cubic yards of product you uh, are ordering, the product will spread out. 
throughout the parking uh, area or the driveway and so forth. That's what a cubic yard of mulch looks like or sand in bulk. Okay, here we're starting with an empty pallet, as you can see right here. What I'm about to do is I'm going to put 14 bags of 2 cubic foot uh, bags of mulch on this pallet. And that'll give you a visual of what one cubic yard of mulch looks like in two cubic foot bags. Here it goes. And that, my friends, is what one cubic yard of mulch looks like in two cubic foot bags. So, what we learned today is, if you're in the market for mulch, Usually you get it in two cubic foot bags and you need 14 bags to make one cubic yard. If you're in the market for soils or compost, you need 27 bags and those are going to be one cubic foot. Now, as a little plug-in, when you visit a nursery, the season's hardwood mulch is made by the ground up and this is our branded mulch bag. And next time you visit your garden center, preferred garden center, look for the My Organic Compost DS, which is in one cubic foot bags, and is what you saw in the uh, initial part of this video. I hope this helps you. And if you need any more information about the ground up, visit thegroundup.com or send us an email at info at thegroundup.com. My name is Lucha.